Welcome back to Taylor, it's time for another Theory Quickie, here's a question from the FAA database. In the Northern Hemisphere, if an aircraft is accelerated or decelerated, the magnetic compass will normally indicate A. A turn momentarily, with changes in airspeed on any heading, B. A turn towards the south while accelerating on a west heading, or C. Correctly when on a north or south heading while either accelerating or decelerating. The compass is subject to an error called magnetic dip. The magnetic portion of the instrument aligns itself with the Earth's lines of magnetic flux. These lines emanate from the poles and flow between south and north. This gives them a vertical as well as horizontal component. The compass works by having a card attached to the magnet, which is suspended in fluid on a pivot in the instrument casing. To read the instrument easily, we would like it to sit horizontally. Due to the fact that the Earth's magnetic flux is not fully horizontal, we need to make the south side of the magnet heavier in the northern hemisphere. As we accelerate the aircraft, take a look at the heading on the direction indicator and compare that to the heading shown on the compass. You'll see that the heading has stayed around 270 on the direction indicator, and yet on the compass it swung round towards the north and showing about a 276 heading. The compass will continue to show the incorrect heading while the aircraft is accelerating. Once the speed stabilizes, the compass will then show the correct heading once more. As you can see here, the speed's now stable at around 100 knots, and the compass is now reading directly west. Here's a deceleration, and you can see the opposite effect. The compass is now showing an apparent turn to the south, even though if you have a look at the direction indicator, you'll see that we haven't budged from a west heading the whole time. And with the speed now stable at around 65 knots, the compass is returned to the west heading as shown before. So what's happening here? We know that the compass card sits on a magnet. While the aircraft turns, we can think of the aircraft moving around the compass card, which is attempting to stay aligned with the magnetic north at all times. This is why the numbers appear to be backwards when compared to the direction indicator. When we make an acceleration or deceleration, the compass magnet has no choice but to follow this trend. However, because the south pointing side of the compass has a slightly higher mass to keep it horizontal, it has more inertia, which makes it slower to react to the change than a north pointing side. Here's the same demonstration again from the east heading, but this time with one of my Pixar level graphical representations. So now I'm going to increase the power and accelerate the aircraft. The heavier side of the compass lags behind, meaning that an apparent turn to the north is shown in the window. This is due to the way that the numbers are represented on the card, which is slightly counterintuitive. This error will continue to be displayed while the aircraft is in an accelerating state. Once the speed is stable, the heavier side of the compass is able to catch up and the error goes away. Here's the opposite effect. As the aircraft decelerates, due to inertia, the heavier side of the compass is more reluctant to slow down than the lighter side. We therefore see an apparent turn to the south. This error is displayed while the aircraft continues to decelerate. Once the speed stabilizes, the side of the compass which has been lagging will catch up and the compass will now read the correct heading again. In these examples, the compass magnet has been sitting at 90 degrees to the aircraft's direction of acceleration. This is the worst case scenario, and will therefore show the greatest error when making speed changes. Let's now take a look at the same example, but on a north heading. In this situation, the north-south axis of the compass, the aircraft's longitudinal axis, and the plane of acceleration will all be aligned. This alignment doesn't give the heavier side of the compass any opportunity to lag behind. We can therefore see that the compass heading doesn't change during the acceleration. This alignment would also be the case on the south heading, and the error would be non-existent on that heading as well. So here is the speed stable at just over 100 knots. The compass is still steady on a north indication. Let's now decelerate the aircraft to see the reaction. And we're now slowing down with the compass remaining steady on a north heading, 
To remember this phenomenon, we use the acronym ANDS, Accelerate North, Decelerate South. This works in a northern hemisphere only. So to answer the question, in a northern hemisphere, if an aircraft is accelerated or decelerated, the magnetic compass will normally indicate C. Correctly, when on a north or south heading, while either accelerating or decelerating.